Hello Burberry Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills and welcome to another day, another piece of tea from the other side of the world if you are in America, because if you are in Europe, we are on the same side of the world. Um, I am here in the beautiful country of Belgium and you know, I'm, you know I'm in Brussels, but everyone was telling me like, you have to go to Brugy, you have to go to Brugy and I was like, okay. So it's like this little town, like an hour away from Brussels. And um, I was like, let's just go there. Let's just see what it's there, why everyone is like dying to go here. There is a lot of people. I haven't seen this amount of people. I think since Santorini, to be honest, like like massive amounts of people. So I'm like, what is with this town? Is it like, a, I don't know, like a party town? Is it like, a, there, there is a lot of young people. There is a lot of uh, kids. I don't know. It's insane. Like, let me show you around. This, this is literally just the entrance of the train station, and this is how much people are just right now. And it's like non-stopping all day long. So, yeah, I'm on my way to like the main square, and everyone says like it's it's full, you know, and that I need to go and watch it. So, uh, that's what I'm going right now. Um, okay guys, so I was like, let's just do this video while I walk. So kind of like keep you come, keep you guys can you keep me company in my little like twisted mind, right? So in the meantime, I was like, what if we don't we just spill some tea? Because girl, girl, let's talk about Vanderpump Rules. Page six is reporting exclusively apparently allegedly like literally they are reporting everywhere that Raquel Levis and Tom Sandoval are done so and like this this time is like for real you know like this time it's like we are no longer together we are done we destroy everyone around us so we are just not gonna like give it a chance and give me one second guys sorry guys I'm crossing the street and a bitch is trying not to die so um, apparently they calling quit you know apparently they are like we are not gonna be together officially but not only that they are reporting that this is not a mutual decision you know this is not like like Bravo and Lisa Reyna, you know, oh, it is a mutual decision. No, apparently the T is that was that Raquel is the one that it's literally saying, I don't want to be with you anymore. We are done. He, she is breaking up with him. She is breaking up with him. I'm like, girl, I mean, it's just like the nerve of everything like like destroying every single friendship every single relationship with all of the people around her for this guy you know for nothing i mean look i think it was pretty very clear from the beginning remember that uh, like on their first uh, announcement she says something like we are not putting labels in anything we are just doing this i'm like then what the fuck did you do this she's gonna i mean she's gonna keep blaming it on like i'm my addiction to love you know my addiction of feeling love you know but like it's just too much guys i mean at this point i'm literally literally considering the fact that she might be an actual like a sociopath or like a like a psycho like a real psycho you know because it really doesn't make any sense now i'm get i i get that everyone is hating you right now and that you know there has been no backlash like this one in a very very long time but you are already in it you know like wow it really kind of like i mean of course i don't feel bad of course i'm like fuck them you know whatever like i don't really care but the length 
of doing this you know and in this case yeah the length of I, I just I just I'm, I'm I'm speechless I am speechless in this situation because it is just it's just too wild you know um, Tom Sandoval we know I know and I have been telling you and even if you want to accept it or not I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the future Tom Sandoval will continue on Vanderpump Rules eventually people are gonna start forgiving him it's just the way it's going to be it might not take you know a couple months it might be two years it took a couple a good couple of years of for people to actually forgive uh, Kristen Doty in fact there are people that are just right now forgiving Kristen Doty after it was you know um, confirmed that the that the Miami girl was an actual like it, it was true you know so it may take a long time, but Tom Sandoval, he will recover himself, you know. And Raquel, I think she she destroyed her life. I mean, her life as of now, right? I don't know, for fame, for dick, for, for what, you know. Um, I think this is going to be the biggest learning lesson for Raquel I think the life that she was living is it was not good for her you know and she needs to definitely close this chapter and move on into something else you know um, I don't think she is mentally strong to be on reality TV uh, this industry is too savage and you need to have such a strong character in order to survive, you know, and She tried I mean she wanted she wanted the fame she wanted to to be that girl, you know and And, and she played a good game and you know she played a good game. She manipulated James Kennedy into loving her she you know got the proposal she you know make out with every single you know person out there and then she you know slept with you know her best friend's boyfriend but act in this case actions are not everything you definitely need to have a lot of personality if this wouldn't have been lala lala would have just stood up uh, to ariana and be like yes i'm fucking your your boyfriend and you know, but and and that would have created more really good TV, and that probably wouldn't have gave her like the like the strength that it was needed to move on. But she doesn't have that, you know. She's she said she's the Bambi I bitch. So I don't know. She destroyed. I mean, look, she destroyed her life, but maybe it was needed for her to destroy this life in order to move on to the next part of her life i don't know what she's gonna do next but like you know what i mean uh i'm i'm hoping that it was worth it at least you know i hope that she enjoyed the the time that she had as a celebrity and you know just go home go to sleep <laughs> you know like like relax Find, go back to, you know, college, the kinesiology thing, you know, find a job. I have no idea, but this time it is it. It is what it is. Um, yes. Do I agree with the fact that they, that she broke up with Sandoval? I don't know. I don't know. May, like I was saying, maybe it was needed for her mental health. I mean, for another point of view, I'm saying like, bitch, to destroy everything for this man. Just give it a shot. Just like Katie Maloney said the other day. But I don't think, yeah, I don't think she had the strength for this. And I think at this time, um, she might love him, but she needs to love herself more, you know? So let's wait and see. So that's the tea, guys. Scandal is officially over. Raquel and Tom are done so. So let me know what you guys think in all the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.